welcome back to another Heather Mac Reacts. Today we're going through some more Am I the A-hole posts. So don't forget to subscribe because I do this. Am I the A-hole specifically? I do four times a week. And then one time a week, I like to laugh a little bit. We do some FML posts, but four times a week, every morning, you can guarantee I'll have an a Am I the A-hole post for you. So subscribe, please. Okay, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get into this Am I the A-hole post. Am I the a-hole? Part of my daughter's daily chores include helping with her disabled sister. She says her sister shouldn't be her problem because we chose not to abort her. Okay, that's pretty deep, but I have lots of feelings about children giving being given jobs in the home. I think chores are absolutely appropriate. I think taking care of other siblings is not appropriate, but let's see if they can change my mind. My wife, 39 female, and I, 36 male, have two daughters, Lauren, 14, and Jessie, 6. Jessie has Down syndrome. My wife homeschools her and really does an amazing job. However, there are things Jessie has been taught to do on her own, but there are things she struggles with, none of which are my fault or my wife. None of which are fault of my wife or myself. It just comes with the nature of the disability. When Jessie was born, Lauren was very eager to help out. She always had some age appropriate involvement. However, when Lauren hit her tween or teen years, she suddenly became very obstinate about helping her sister. Currently, Lauren is assigned to help her sister get ready each morning by assisting her hygiene, brushing teeth, combing hair. Lauren is to select and lay out Jessie's clothes for the day. The exception is if there will be an outing, their mother will get Jessie ready. Saturday mornings only just Lauren and Jesse cook breakfast together for the family. Jesse really looks forward to this. Her and I also have Wednesday nights for us cooking together. Lauren also has babysitting responsibilities. One Friday a month, my wife and I have date night. On rare occasions when my wife and I need to leave the house together, Lauren is expected to babysit. As far as chores not relating to her sister, Lauren is to vacuum the house every other day, keep her room clean, and help with her laundry. Okay. Lauren recently told a family member all that she is forced to do around the house and with her sister. The family member pointed out she shouldn't be expected to help out with her sister because it's not her responsibility. My wife, my, my wife works very hard. She is entitled to a break. I work out of the house five days, often 50 to 60 hours a week. Every night I come home and have things to do. It's just a part of life. In her protest with the family member's support, Lauren said her sister shouldn't be her responsibility because we chose not to abort her. We both were extremely taken back by that comment. Apparently her friend's parents were pregnant with a Down syndrome baby and aborted to not cause a burden on the family. I told my daughter I'm sure there were other reasons, maybe a severe heart defect, maybe the doctor's advising doing so. Lauren continued on saying we should have just aborted Jessie instead of assuming she'd become her she'd become her lifelong caregiver. We've not, never uttered those words. We do not expect Lauren to dedicate her life to her sister. She's being dramatic, but yet her words hurt. I'm not against abortion. I just never imagined someone, especially my own child, saying we should have aborted her sister. My wife is pretty upset with Lauren. She feels we need to relieve Lauren of her chores related to Jessie. Lauren wants no part of her sister now as she only sees her as a chore. I'm thinking I might have subconsciously turned Jessie into a chore for Lauren. We've never referred to her as a chore, actually. It was just simple helping out your sister. Lauren says it's very much a chore though. That's the end. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think vacuuming the house, fine. I think keeping your room clean, fine. I think helping with your laundry, fine. I don't think your teenage daughter should be in charge of getting her little sister ready in the morning. What is the mom doing? She deserves a break. She's the one who just chose to homeschool. <laughs> She gave herself another job on top of stay-at-home mom. So how is that Lauren's fault? No, I have very strong feelings about siblings being in charge of other siblings and my opinion hasn't changed. I don't think a, like they said, I don't think a sibling should be a chore for an older sibling. It is not that older sibling's fault or responsibility for younger siblings. She didn't choose to have them, you did. So that's your responsibility. That's how I feel. Let me know if you disagree in the comments or let me know if you agree too. I like hearing those as well. <laughs> okay, let's get on to the next story. Am I the a-hole for telling my friend that getting married doesn't mean they're ready for kids? 
That sounds like an opinion you weren't asked to give, but okay. I, 33 male, am mom to Leah, two females, set to be married to Jim, 30 male, in a year. I work as a waitress. Jim is not Leah, Leah's bio dad. He hasn't been in the picture since he found out I was pregnant. My friend Sam, 32 female, married Kyle, 36 male, a month ago. Sam works as a school administrator. Kyle manages a warehouse, fake names. We went to dinner. We're planning our wedding for 2023 and wanted to hear what it was like being newlyweds. They were going over everything when Sam mentioned children. She said they were excited about trying for kids. I asked her what she meant and she said now that she has a house and is married, she can finally start, which they have. I told her having a house and a husband didn't mean she shouldn't have started. I don't get it. To be honest, I wasn't aware she wanted kids. Her wedding was child-free and she never jumps into conversations in our friend group when the topic is about kids. She said she wanted to bring kids into the world when she had a healthy relationship and a house with a yard for them to play in. She said the house they have now and moved into last year is big enough for two to three kids. I said being married doesn't mean the relationship is healthy. She said hers is and I told her it is now, but divorce rates are high and then if they split, she'd be on her own. Okay? Why are you being such a Debbie Downer? Like, yeah, and she could walk across the street and get hit by a bus. Like, stuff happens. Kyle said that I was assuming too much, which you are. I said I wasn't, but they should think about what if it doesn't work because that's what happened to me. I went on to say that I love Leah, but no amount of planning could have prepared me to be a single mom. Sam said, well, I'm not you, to which Kyle muttered, thank God. Yeah, I think you kind of deserve that one. Jin pulled Kyle to be respectful. Kyle said he wasn't the one being disrespectful at the table. I said if my comments hit a nerve so easily, then maybe it was a sign that they knew I was right and had a point. Sam asked if I was mad that she chose to wait for the right man to come along to produce a child, and I didn't, and that I was speaking more through regret than personal experience. <sighs> That's spicy and I like it. I told Sam I do not regret, regret Leah, to which she said, no, but it certainly sounds like you regret the timing. I said the timing was fine and that I was doing fine caring for Leah, but then Sam brought up my financial issues I was having with my job. I told her not everyone can go to grad school and work when they have a family and a relationship. Sam was single for three years before meeting Kyle. Sam told me that was her point, that she had different priorities than me, and that is why she is where she is and she's at, and I'm stuck where I'm at. The check had already been paid, so Jim said we needed to go home to relieve the babysitter. I've told our friend group what happened and they say it was my fault for criticizing Sam for her choices, but I wasn't. One friend thinks Sam went too far and her comments about regret, but agreed that I sounded jealous of Sam. I am not. Jim's family and my parents agree with us though. Am I the a-hole? Okay. Absolutely the a-hole. This is another easy one. Absolutely the a-hole. It's none of your business. Listen, I learned, okay, throughout my 20s, that if you're not asked to give your opinion, you should just keep it to yourself. Okay, this isn't like, oh, uh, I heard your husband's a mass murderer. I don't think you should marry him. Yes, those are the kind of opinions you don't keep to yourself. I'm talking about, you don't think your friend's ready to have kids? Why? She has a house and a husband. What's stopping her? She's, how old? How old? Let's click back. Let's click back. In her 30s? Why is she not ready to have a kid? Why is it any of your freaking business? Why are you putting your nose where it doesn't belong? Turns out we have an edit. Let's see what this a-hole has to say. I posted this before my shift and just got off. There's over 1K comments, so I can't respond to everyone, so here I am addressing some things. One, I mentioned Sam's wedding being child-free because she specifically said she does not want to be around kids on her wedding day because they're annoying. Okay, a lot of people think other people's kids are annoying. They're still allowed to have their own children. Two, this sub allows for 3,000 character limits. Sam was going on and on about having a house and marriage makes raising kids easier, which isn't true. Yes, it is true. It makes it easier. It's not the only way, but it is a good way, okay? It's an easy way. Three, Sam is the type of person who thinks that since she works in education and has a master's that she knows more than everyone. I was telling her that having kids isn't easier just because you make more money and have a house. I live in an apartment. Yes, it does. I've lived in an apartment with a child and I've lived in a house with a child and it is much easier in a house. It just is. It's not impossible in an apartment and there's nothing wrong with raising an apartment, but as the parent, it was easier when I didn't have to carry my son up a flight of stairs with groceries, okay? Now I just park in my garage and do everything at my leisure. A lot easier. This person's delusional. Okay, that's all they have to say. Still the a-hole. I wanna know what you think in the comments, but I'm pretty confident in my deduction that this person is a huge a-hole and needs to mind their business. 
Okay, let's move on to the next one. Am I the a-hole for taking away my daughter's car? Is it yours to take away? I, male 39, have two daughters with my ex-wife, Jenny, female 39, and we have 50-50 custody. So the kids, Lily, female 16, and Hannah, female 14, live with me half of the time and with their mom the other half. Jenny and I went through a nasty divorce, so we don't talk to each other except once in a great while through text if there's an issue with the girls, but it usually ends up with us arguing instead. This past weekend, Lily was out with friends and called me around eight and said her mom asked her to meet up with her and a friend to have pizza and hang out for a bit because the place they were at does trivia on Friday nights. I told her that's fine, but be home by 10. At about 9.45, I called to remind her that she needed to be home by 10. She said their pizza had just gotten to them and she would be home in a few minutes. 10 hits and she isn't home, so by now I am pretty frustrated and I admittedly did lose my temper a bit, but her mom knows when I say 10, I mean 10, not 10.05, not 10.02. So I called Lily and said, where the F are you at? It's 10 and I told you to be home. She said our pizza came late and mom asked if I could drop her and Nikki, mom's friend, off at home because they had a couple drinks during dinner. I said, I don't give an F, you aren't your mom's designated driver, now get your ass home. Well, unknown to me, her mom and friend were just getting out of the car and I was on Bluetooth so they heard me yelling at Lily. I don't really care because they already think I'm an a-hole but at my house rules are to be followed. Their mom thinks she can be their friend but that doesn't fly with me. When Lily got, Lily, when Lily got home at 10 12 I took her keys and told her to tell her mom she will have to pick the girls up for their time at her house. Now I'm even more of an a-hole apparently because she will have to take them back and forth to school instead of them being able to drive. I say that's too bad she shouldn't have kept my daughter out past when I told her to be home. The agreement was that I would buy Lily a car and she would buy Hannah a car when she's old enough so I own the car. I think I might be the a-hole because maybe I shouldn't have yelled at her quite so bad but what am I supposed to do just have no rules and let them do whatever they want okay you have rules I understand but is it the hill that you want to die on I have a son okay he's not a teenager I'm not dealing with teenage issues but he has a little three-year-old mind of his own okay and there's just some things where I'm like that's not technically allowed but I'm not gonna fight over it right now because I have bigger fish to fry I feel like you could have told your daughter and you could have had a conversation with your ex-wife and gone this is not acceptable this cannot happen again and said, if you do this again, you will have your car taken away. I don't think taking away her car on the very first shot of being late for her curfew was fair, personally. I don't know that you're a huge a-hole, but I also didn't hear you screaming at your 16-year-old daughter on the Bluetooth, so maybe my feelings are a little skewed because this is your point of view, but I do think you were wrong. I do think you could have been a little bit more, more lenient, I think the trick to raising kids is give and take. I feel like treating them like, maybe not your equal, but treating them like a person and actually having respect for them and their feelings and their time and their wants and desires as well. Because we're, we're, we're molding them into little people. We're not molding them into little soldiers that are just gonna obey us. That's my opinion. I wanna know what you think about that in the comments. Don't forget we have over 60 Am I the A-hole posts right up here for you to binge whenever you'd like. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.